Hey everyone, this is Mark from My Game Concierge, and once again, I'm here to give you a review, this time, of God Eater 3. I remember playing the first God Eater on Portable, and it actually was a pretty fun game. But how does the third installment hold up? Well, let's find out. In the first few minutes of the game, you're presented with some dialogue that can make you feel a bit lost. The story is pretty non-existent for newer players to this series. A lot of the dialogue that was going on seemed to be there for those who had some knowledge of what's going on in the world around you. At the same time, it didn't feel like a sequel or a standalone game, but somewhere in the middle, after some dialogue, you're able to customize and create your own character. And I felt it was pretty well done, and I was satisfied with how the appearance turned out, which is something I often don't feel with other games. So, plus points for that. The game is kind of like Monster Hunter, where you're going around accepting missions and fighting various monsters. However, the game doesn't do a good job presenting that. For the first two hours, I found it to be very repetitive. You walk around a hub, talk to someone, view a mission screen, complete a mission, quickly I might add, and repeat the process over and over and over again. It also didn't help that the area and the new missions all looked the same. The tutorial I felt was lengthy for no reason. You selected new missions which literally lasted 30 seconds just so the game teaches you new mechanics. I mean, like, why not put this all in one go? When you actually fight monsters, that's where the game starts to pick up. You have to use abilities like dodging, guarding, and having well-timed attacks to make your battles easier. Otherwise, you can find yourself losing health very quickly. And that's where the strength lies in this game. Once you're in a boss battle, where you have a squad of three other people helping you, and it can be real players too, not just NPCs, the game is a lot more enjoyable, although some enemies are just reskins. The weapons that you get are pretty well designed, and I like being able to find out how each weapon works. The only problem is, the first hour or two of the game doesn't get you pumped to keep playing as much as I hoped. Fans of the series will be picking this one up, but at a $60 price tag, I'm not quite convinced. If you still feel like giving this game a go and you're 21 and older, you're going to need a recommended drink, the Lifesaver. Because the battle's going to be difficult if you're not ready. Or get a Lifesaver because this game was your cup of tea. I don't know, it's your choice. But here at my game concierge, we're giving it one martini glass. I was halfway to giving it two martini glasses, but it's just an average game that just really fails to get you going. Anyways, that's it for this review. Be sure to go check out some more reviews on our YouTube at My Game Concierge and watch some live streams on our YouTube and our Facebook page as well. Why would you do that? Because I'm there, everybody's there, we're all having fun. So why not have fun too? This is Mark from My Game Concierge and once again, as always, I will see you on my next video.